Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we'll be looking at solution to the problem number 2 of Lead Code Weekly Contest 215. Name of the problem is, determine if two strings are close. Two strings are considered close if one can be attained from the other using following two operations. Operation number 1 is, swap any two existing characters. So for example, if we swap B and E, we'll be obtaining this string. Another operation is to transform every occurrence of one character into another character and do the same for the other character as well. So for example, in the given string we are transforming all the A's to B and all the B's to A. So we will be attaining this particular string. Now we have to tell if the two strings are close. So if they are close we have to return true otherwise we have to return false. So in the first case we can simply swap the characters B and A and then C and A to obtain this string. So we can apply the operation one two times. Hence we are returning true in this case. Now in the second example there is no way to transform the given string A to AA. Now let's look at the third example which is quite interesting. So we have to apply both the operations here. First of all we are swapping the B with A and then we are applying the second operation with C and B and then again applying the second operation with B and A. So one thing is for sure that whatever character are present in the given string 1 should be present in the given string 2 as well. This is one of the necessary condition. All the characters, all the unique characters present in the string 1 should be present in the string 2 as well. Another condition is that the frequencies in both these strings should be same. Now they could be of different elements but the count of the frequencies should be same. So for example we are taking the example number 3 C A triple B A. So we have C A triple B A and we have A B B and triple C. A B B and triple C. So here the frequency of A is 2, B is 3 and C is 1. Here the frequency of A is 1, B is 2 and C is 3. Now if we look at the frequencies, so frequency 1 is here, frequency 1 is here. The characters are different but the frequencies are same. So the frequency 1 is present at both of these strings. The frequency 2 is also present at both of these strings and the frequency 3 is also present at both of these strings. So the frequency in this string is 1, 2 and 3 and the frequency in this string is 1, 2 and 3 as well. So that is why as the frequencies are same and as the unique characters that is A, B and C are present in both of these strings. So these both conditions are met hence these two strings can be transformed into one another. Now let us look at another example which is C A triple B A and A A B S S. So there is the character S here and there is no character S here. And there is no way that we can bring up this character S by doing any of these two operations which are given to us. That is why we will be returning false in this case. So now let us quickly try to code this. So now let us keep two vectors of size 26 each to store the frequencies. V1 26 initialized with 0. Then V2 of size 26 initialized with 0. Now we are going to each of the characters of the first string that is word 1. And we are incrementing the frequency at that particular position. And the same with the string 2. V2 of A minus A plus plus. Now we have the frequencies. So now we can sort them and compare them. But the first condition was the unique characters should also be same. So for that we have to keep another two vectors. So let us say V11 of size 26 comma 0 and v22 of size 26 comma 0 so in these two vectors we will be just keeping whether an element is present or not so for that we are just putting one at that particular position so a minus a is equal to 1 and v22 a minus a 
is equal to 1. Now we have to compare them. So the vector number 1 and 2 will be compared after sorting and v11 and v22 will be compared without sorting. Sort v1 dot begin v1 dot end sort v2 dot begin v2 dot end return v1 equal to v2 and v11 equal to v22 so let us try to run this now and I think we are getting correct answer let us try to submit and it got accepted